how I'd love to go to the cinema again. But even that is forbidden to Jews. Just as it's forbidden to ride the trams, to use a car, to go out after eight at night, Jews must hand in their bicycles too. Being without a bicycle is one of the most awful things to bear if you live in Holland. You know, it's a shame we weren't assigned to guard the beach in this heat. That was a close call. I'll never take my bicycle out again. Lise always says, I'm afraid to do anything because it may be forbidden. Just a second. I'm coming. Yes? It's a labor camp call-up notice for Margot Frank. Dear Kitty, our friends Mr. Kopoy, Smeep, and her husband came to our house that same night to discuss what we should do. Margot, who's only 16, has received a call-up notice to go to a labor camp in Germany. She's very frightened because everyone knows what that means. Should we let her be doomed to this? Of course we won't let her go. Daddy has decided that all four of us will go into hiding tomorrow morning and not wait until they come to get us. Oh, I'm so frightened. We're here to help you, Mrs. Frank. Edith, please, we all need to show courage. This is the call of notice. Beginning tomorrow, we're going to have to hide. Copois, will you still help? Of course, Otto. There, my bag is full. Are you ready to go, Edith? Terrified for the children and for ourselves, too. I'm afraid of being stopped in the street. We're giving up everything we have. <laughs> Edith, follow the itinerary I gave you and don't forget to act as naturally as possible. If you do, everything will be just fine. I assure you, you go with Margot and we'll meet you at the hiding place just as we'd planned. <laughs> there. <laughs> 5.30 in the morning, we're taking as much as we possibly can. No Jew in our situation would dream of going out with a suitcase full of clothing. I'm not going to be able to walk normally with all these clothes on. You'd be warm at the North Pole. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to go, girls. Are you ready? Oh. And don't forget to give the cat some milk before we go. Uh, but Daddy, I was hoping I could take Mokja with me to the hiding place. <sighs> Please, Daddy. No, Anne. I'm sorry, but it's impossible. It would be far too dangerous. We're already wearing yellow stars. We'd attract even more attention if we took him. I've left a note for the neighbors saying goodbye and asking them to look after him, so don't worry. Come now. Say goodbye to him. I understand. I'm sad, too, but we have no choice. Mokja, you'll see. I promise to come back for you very soon. Come, Anne. We really must go now. Get your things. 
There's no time to lose. Leave Morcha there. You'll come with me, and Margot, you'll go with your mother. Now, we've a long walk, so let's hurry up. But, Daddy, where are we going? I think it's better that I don't tell you. Here, Margot. Take this. <laughs> I feel as if I'm in an adventure film. Anne, we've got to go now. This way. Where are we going, Daddy? Is it still far away? Oh, what miserable weather. Hard to believe it's summer. Oh, you're right. Normally, Anne, just ignore him. Moment, warten Sie. Ah, verdammt nochmal! Du blödes Rindvieh, kannst du nicht aufpassen? Ah! Ah! 